And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for trial number two. We did get the seven win trial, the first one, which is awesome. That's, uh, you know, that's definitely the goal. That's what we're trying to do is get that seven win trial. We're going to play another one though, uh, get the uh, XP at the end, get the practice. Maybe we'll draft a, uh, a pretty crazy deck because if we don't get seven wins, like that's, that's the most, um, you know, that's the most wins you can get. So we're already locked into the most prizes you can get. Um, the thing that we can do here is, uh, we could get a seven and a seven, cause I'm not sure if I've ever done a seven and seven before, but then again, you know, we get all the XP and, uh, they're also just really fun to play. So let's do trial number two. Let's begin. Let's get it started. Ooh. Okay. Y'all know I like going the Teemo deck for fun. The Teemo deck is is a lot of fun if you can pull it off. And we got two mushroom cards with it, Clump of Wumps and Puff Cap Peddler. So that could be a way to go. Garen's a nice safe choice. I, I think Garia and Demacia stuff do really well in um uh in these uh in these expeditions. Um and then we, and then our other option is Anivia, Averosen Trapper, and Catalyst of Aeons, which that's kind of like the constructed deck we played yesterday. The Assessor Controlled that we're going to be playing later on today is an Anivia deck. Um, yeah, Teemo is the most fun. And so that's that's probably what we want to be going for here since we already got the seven win. Want to go for the most fun. And... Uh, so that's probably Teemo. Let's see what let's see what the votes are at. Oh yeah, everybody's voting Teemo. All right, Teemo. Ooh, we can get the the full on Noxus, or not not Noxus. Sorry, Piltover and Zon. We get the full on Piltover and Zon. We can take Ezreal, and then we have all P and Z. We just had all uh, all Noxus, and that worked out really well. I do like I do like whenever you. Uh, stay in the same the same region and uh, this one though Hecarim Rekindler like those two are obviously super super powerful but yeah it looks like the votes are in every everybody's voted this oh I got we got one Yasuo vote but let's just let's just try to draft all P and Z see how it goes okay progress day that's a great epic. Eminent Benefactor. Last breath, create a random epic in hand. That's a good card. We could get an, a second peddler, which if we wanted you know, try to team out, getting as many peddlers as possible is really good. And then innovations, innovation's just fine. It's not it's not spectacular, but it's definitely playable. Um, and then you know we could get some this afterlife stuff, which we're not going for that. So uh peddler you know, trying to pile up as many pedlers as possible makes the Teemo better, but Progress Day is the more powerful card, and then Benefactor is really good too. It's basically, I mean, if you kind of look at the rarities, you know, the green and green is common and common. Uh, blue is rare. Purple is epic. You should probably take the epic and the rare over the common and the common. What's up, Storm? Oh, I didn't update the expedition record, but yeah. So yeah, Storm, we went 7-1 our first expedition. We got our 7 win. Yeah, we're yeah we're talking about the the little kitty cat in the in the bed. Uh, actually, people are voting for this one. People are saying go peddler. Yeah, puppy puppy's here. Harvey's like right here. You, uh, you can see her nose there. See, she's right there. She's like down here. I, I've been petting. I'm petting Harvey right now. And puppy's just sitting here. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this route. Okay, the the votes are even up now. I I don't think I've ever gotten progress. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever gotten progress day in a uh, in an expedition deck before. Okay, uh, so with these, get excited is maybe the best, but chump Womp's right there. Chump Womp is awesome. So get excited and chump bump are the two best. Eager or not, eager apprentice, eager apprentice, the two worst. Um, down, down, down. 
Hey, Yud. Um, so our second, Yud, our second uh, deck is going to be all PNZ. Going good. Let's see. So what are y'all voting for? Yeah, we got a 7-1 going all Noxus. All right, everybody's voting for this one. They're saying get the chump lump. All right. Ooh. This is interesting. So we can take the two removal spells, Static Shock, Mystic Shot, which is a good idea. Or we can get the epic Jai, J? Med, uh, Medarda? Medarda. But J or Jai, and then Medarda. Um, I have never played this card before. We don't really have things to target it, so I don't even think it would be very good. But I've just never played that card before. All right, all the votes are going to on the left-hand column. All right, taking the removal spells. Um, Flash of Brilliance with Kempunk Shredder or Flash of Brilliance with Mystic Shot. So obviously we're going to get a, a Flash of Brilliance, but then do we want a second Mystic Shot or a Kempunk Shredder? Um... People are voting for the middle one? No, not, I'm not taking this middle one. <laughs> uh, we don't really have any top end right now. We have the progress day, of course. But besides that, you know, 5, 6, 7 is all pretty empty. But Shredder just basically always trades down. It can, you know, do the one damage to everything. But it's, it's trading down. There we go. We're getting a lot of people voting. I like it. I like it. We get a lot of people voting. All right. Mystic Shot. That's I was leaning towards Mystic Shot. Like that's where I wanted to go. And that's where the votes are saying to go to. Cause with me already having the seven win route, I can just like keep on letting letting y'all vote and take y'all's vote the whole time. I guess there was one time I didn't take the y'all's vote with going with the progress day. I think y'all voted more for the peddler. Oh no, it went it was it was fifty fifty by the time I chose. Alright, well I think this one's a pretty easy pick. Let's see what the votes are saying. Yep. Votes are saying exactly what I'm thinking. Peddler and Chumpwump. Get some more Puff Caps. All about those Puff Caps. Uh, these other two aren't aren't anything special. <laughs> yeah, votes. Ten votes. Zero, zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're doing Puff Caps. We got a team out. We're going all P and Z. Uh, this one's a little more difficult. Because we can go, we can go puff cap route, um, but Mystic Shot Flash of Brilliance is really powerful too. You know, like getting that removal spell. But maybe we need as many peddlers as possible. Yeah, the last one's whatever. Yeah, this one's a little closer with the vote. Yeah, it depends if we want to go Ez or Teemo. Yeah, no, that's that's true. If we want to go Ez, we we want this one. If we want Teemo, we want this one. Pretty close votes this time. Four to six, and then one vote over here. All right, well, I guess six. Six is greater than four. All right, we're going Teemo. Ez is easier to pull off, but... All right, I think I know where I want to go here. Um, all right, so we have, you know, we have an okay six drop and a just fine two drop. Our deck is filled with twos, though. We do kind of need a little bit more up here. Get excited is a good removal spell, so that's good. And then the used cask, cask salesman. I, I really, this is one's always hard to say. Used cask salesman. That's hard to say fast. You can try it out at home. It's hard to say fast. Used cask salesman. Anyway, um... It's a good blocker. You know, you get two of these O1s that just die right away. You know, you get to just block with those O1s. It's a good blocker. Then Eager Apprentice and Scrap Dash Assembly. That card's not any good for our deck. Yep, everybody's choosing the middle. That's where I was leaning. Hey, After Wizard. Ooh. 
Okay. So we have Aeronaut is average. Sumpworks map, maybe a little below average. But then Peddler, Bark, Back Alley Barkeep, Thermogenic Beam, and Progress Day are all really good. So we have four good spells. So these two are good spells together. These ones have like good and then average with a... And so, yep, everybody agrees with me. Take the last column. I'm getting a little bit of votes for the Peddler. We got some Peddlers already, though. Ooh, wow, this is a tough. This is tough. So, first and third have Peddlers. This has yet another Progress Day, which, honestly, I would not mind having another Progress Day because we can save up the spell mana... <clears throat> and cast it on turn five or turn six, you know, draw draw three. And how cheap our stuff is, like making those things even cheaper. I mean, just drawing into more progress days. I'm fine with that. That's good for the peddlers and everything. Um, shady character can just be another peddler. You know, this can basically be five peddlers. You know, we can choose a peddler and make it that. But then you have the res removal spells in the middle. You know, mist another mystic shot, another, another thermogenic beam. Those are good removal spells. I think it's either the middle or the right. Let's see what y'all are saying. Wow, middle and right are tied. I like these removal spells, but I also like Peddler and Progress Day. I, I really think Progress Day is good. But it's obviously good to have removal. Hmm, this is tough. <laughs> still tied 5-5 five, five now oh but then this this actually has six votes six five five y'all really like this shady character because you can only you can only transform it into a copy of a follower in play it can be the opponent's can be yours hmm this is close. All right, the votes are basically all even. Oh, okay, you, you just went for the peddler and you vote for that. Okay, they're basically all even. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with that. So, oh, you, okay, so you can shoot Shady character before it turns in, so it turns into, like, as a 1-1 one one one, or a one one first. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Now we got another Peddler with a Flash of Brilliance or a Clump of Lumps and a Used Cask Salesman. Eager Apprentice refilling the spell mana is nice. Um, I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe this last one, Flash of Brilliance is going to be real good with the Peddlers to, you know, get to trigger it. Yep, everybody's voting for the one on the right. We maybe have... We probably need to start taking other things bef besides peddlers. We have five peddlers now. We probably need to take other other stuff, right? I wish we had something like the five six mana range, which I guess that's this thing, but this thing's just it's just not a very good five six drop. As P and Z doesn't really have good five six drops. <laughs> RV stretching. Uh. People are voting for the last column. I kind of like this column. I, again, Flash of Brilliance with Peddler is awesome. And, you know, we can play, you know, drop a couple of Peddlers and then play a couple Flash of Brilliances. We get, we can get some really powerful spells off of it. And, you know, we just trigger the, the Peddlers. I, I really like that. And even Eager Apprentice, because we're going to need that spell mana, I like that card too. So I like this one, and all right, yep, looks like the votes are votes are coming around. I think Flash of Brilliance can be awesome. 
Hmm. Well, Mystic Shot's the best card out of all these by a long ways. Jury Rig isn't any good. The best Jury Rig is good if we have if we get excited it. That's that's about it. So I think I think we'll probably go with the Mushroom Cloud and the Mystic Shot. They really want me to take Academy, Prodigy, and Unlicensed Innovation. Like, these two have been together forever. Not really. Prot Hunts? No, not really. Wow, these votes are really split. 4-4-5. Four, four, So, Unlicensed Innovation, you know, you just get, like, this 5-5 five, five for 6. It's just a generic 5-5, five, five, but it is a spell, so it does trigger Peddlers, because it is a spell, and sometimes you just need a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, Jury Rig can be an instant speed blocker. That is true, because it is burst speed. So, that's true. So, maybe that's better than Mushroom Cloud. Hmm. Yeah, these votes are basically even across the board. Four, four, five. I just I don't really want Academy Protege. Prodigy. We have, you know, a lot of two mana cards. We have these eager apprentices and stuff. Like, you really don't need this card. And it's not like that card's that great. I just feel like Mystic Shot's the best card. Hmm. Alright, so the votes are now 556. Five, I guess I take this. No, I kinda think I'm just gonna take Jury Rig Mystic Shot. Get get a chump blocker and a mystic shot. And just kind of rely on the progress days, you know, like just play a whole bunch of cheap spells, have progress day, draw a bunch of cards. Take the first, because you can get both for Timo and Ez. Oh, you get a card both for Timo and Ez. Mushroom Cloud is just not that great of a card. I mean, I guess it does help out Timo more than Jury Rig does, but Jury Rig can chump block. Well, I'm going to take the second. All right. We can do some trades. We can trade the used cask salesman for a Kempunk Shredder. We can trade a Jury Rig for a Funsmith. All of your spells and skills deal one additional damage. Or we can trade the Academy Prodigy for a Static Shock. Deal one to two enemies, draw a card. All right, I like... I like all the trades, but I like the second two trades the most. The Prodigy and the Jury Rig are my two least favorite cards in the deck. So I I think I either want an, another Static Shock or getting a Funsmith. I've only had Funsmith in my deck one time, and when I had Funsmith, I, I kind of felt like it was just, it was too difficult, like it was too much mana to like play Funsmith and then play other stuff. It was, it was a lot of mana, you know, five mana, two, three is kind of rough. All right, and it looks like every single vote, we had one vote for the Funsmith, but then nine votes for the Static Shock, so. All right, I guess we'll take the Static Shock. All right, we'll see how this works. We're, you know, full PNZ. We didn't get, I would think like full PNZ, we'd want to get like a ton of back alley bar keeps, but we didn't get back alley bar keeps. Funsmith used to be four mana. I did not know that. Thanks, Anaconda. <clears throat> this hand looks pretty good. And it's even better. Quietly. 
Optimo. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! Very good, Eager Apprentice. Next turn, our options are Peddler and then Flash of Brilliance. Or uh, play as and then, you know, get a, next, get a Mystic Shot and cast Mystic Shot. And I think that's the route that I want to go. Just play as, get a Mystic Shot, cast that. Kind of be a Teemo control deck. Don't blink or you'll miss me. No. <laughs> they ruined my plan. I had a plan. Hey there, knives. I will cut out your tongue. Katarina. I know you're thinking half a mushroom. Have three. Can I return to a four three? Yeah. To the point. No sweat. So next turn we'll have five mana. We can maybe hit with Ezreal. <clears throat> oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Ah, uh, dang. I'm sorry, Harem King. <laughs> we have so many peddlers. Ha, they'll never know what kills. Just keep working on it. Keep, you know, keep learning and everything like that. Run away, Mike. By attacking with the Peddler, it does turn on Whirling Death. Like, they can, you know, block Whirling Death, kill Ezreal, which would be bad. I'm gonna save the Teemo until we can keep giving them a lot more puff caps and then play Teemo and hit him and Timing is everything. Um My pretty. Can't stop me. And uh No one's the wiser. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. And then have Teemo sure. transformed. You'll soon understand my methods. Sir, there was a little fella asking for me. Hey there, nice. I will cut out your time. That's the thing about playing Katarina pre-combat. You don't actually get to, you know, like the plague rally doesn't doesn't really matter. I can just let Katarina hit me now.
Thanks, Buffsimba. Yeah, I had a seven win Noxus deck. All right, Teemo time. Planting your mushrooms. Prepared for anything. Hey there, Nut. I will cut out your tongue. One shot, all skill. This isn't part of the training. Going somewhere? Yeah, come on, block. Block with Katarina. If I cast a spell pre you know before damage like this rising spell force, that would give them another eighteen puff caps, you know, nine for all these plus double it so they'd get another eighteen puff caps. And it would do four damage. So is that worth a card? Yeah, HP's over here. We're at 10, they're at 19. So right now they're taking 6, 7, 8, 9. Think fast. They grow sure. Up. Yeah, that seems worth. Get 4 damage in, plus 18 puff caps. Yeah, this is the new chair. It's very comfy. Puppy puppy oh, likes it. She's laying on my lap right now. That's scary. Would a mushroom help? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. This is me taking five damage right now. Firing. I get three less puff caps, but I, I did kind of keep that available and, and didn't like tap out before damage. So they got 54 puff caps. Five puff caps. Good job, Team Odeck. And we're one and O. Oh. All right, there's our spell mana. Oh man, I like all these choices. Corina Veraza, play discard the top five cards of your deck, deal one to all enemies for each spell discarded. So you get another Teemo with Corina Veraza and a Crush Bot. Or you go Heimerdinger with Corina Veraza and then a Thermogenic Beam. Or Ezreal gives us Funsmith and Plaza Guardian. I think Funsmith is probably my least favorite card out of everything. Team Teemo. Just keep going. More, more Teemo. Yeah, let's check the votes. Oh, yeah. Everybody just voted for Teemo. All right. 8-1-1. One, one. Yeah, all right. Teemo. We got all those peddlers for a reason. There's Harvey back there, she was laying down. Something's wrong with 
Harvey's stomach. Oh, I'd said her name to that. She's like, oh, you said my name? I've had her for, for years, and she's never gone to the bathroom inside, but today she did. She had, you know, kind of real runny stuff in my room. Uh, so I've been spent a good amount of time shampooing and cleaning that today. And basically I'm bringing that up because Trindomir Lucian, I'll shuffle this. Because she smells really bad right now. And I kind of like keep on checking and see if she did made another mess. Poor girl. Get him, Timo. Don't get in my way. How can I help? All right, gonna play the apprentice to get me two extra mana. So the next turn, you know, turn three, I, I have the mana, so I can go Ezreal, hit him, get the Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, the Lucian. We see through all. Oh wait, I guess. I'm not attacking on turn three. So I'll just go crush bot. It's a good blocker. Blessed by snow and stars. Yep, good blocker. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. I gave them a, a bone yesterday. Oh no. That was a great card. I gave them a bone yesterday before streaming, and I don't know. I haven't seen those bones since I started streaming. So I don't know if she ate that and something in there disagreed with her stomach, maybe. I don't, I don't know. So they've cast two entreats, so they should have two champions in hand. But wait, no, they didn't even get they didn't even get an extra card there, did they? They just triggered the Starlet Seer. Not and ready. He's a six four. I need to have to go let Harvey out again. Uh, okay, fine. I'll stop saying that if you even actually lay down and stop getting up. Uh, let's see. So six mana. So I could just go get excited that thing and then thermogenic beam the six four. I could just kill both of those. I've planted ten puff caps right now. Let's just play Chump Lump. Get one of these. Give them another Puff Cap. I think it's gonna be a problem. So I can double those up. 28. I'm on it. <clears throat> I hope they play something pre combat. And then I can just thermogenic beam the wild wow claw. Okay. 
Alright, they got one pup cap. Don't play another wild claw. Ridiculous. I could play Flash of Brilliance first and then Mushroom Cloud plus Thermogenic Beam. But I don't have like a peddler out. Does give them a mushroom cloud though. Ooh. Okay. Get one of those for next turn. you get just one all right so eight mana so if i want to keep four that means i have four other to spend <clears throat> so that could be clump of lumps with one cloud and make that 36 and then hit them or it could just be playing a benefactor it's probably better just hit play the benefactor even though that means that you know playing one of these would be 10 mushrooms all right they're up to 62 Come on. I've gathered. Now I give. All right, get eleven puff caps. Just two. Two's not enough. Boo. Let rage fill your soul. Trindamir Battle Fury is kind of unbeatable. Get that quest XP. Level up the epic capsule. All right, so out of these trades, I like, I like the last trade. I like getting another chump lump. I'll get another chump bump. Go along with our um, Let's see what are y'all saying. So y'all are saying maybe the the middle one. Jury rig is a pretty weak card, but I don't I honestly don't know if I want another static shock. Just one damage just isn't isn't enough. I need to do more damage. The big creatures. The big creatures are where we're going to struggle against. Which I guess Crushbot is a 2-5. But a 4-4 can usually tussle with big creatures pretty, you know, look kind of well. Votes are split between those two. Crushbot is better than Jury Rig. So giving up Jury Rig, I'd be giving up a worse card. 
I currently have two Chump Wumps and two sh Static Shocks. I have five Peddlers. And I think the Chump Wump kind of goes better with the Peddlers, maybe? Yeah, Wumps do add Puff Caps. Which, if that's what we're trying to do... I'll take the jump bombs. All right. Ooh, epic capsule. I almost forgot. Okay, all all uh, new things. No, no duplicates. We got two commons. Um, two rares. Decimates a rare. Two rares, and then um, an epic a reckoning. That's a great epic to open because that epic is in the Assessor Control deck. There's three of them in there. So now I don't have to use an, an epic for that card. Good open. I think Static Shock is great in Expedition. See, I'm just not too worried about the small creatures. Stuff that we do one damage to. I don't know. Okay, save that. Auction might. Publish. Challenger. Stalking Wolf's really good against Puff Cat Peddler. Heck yeah, Rob Volke. Yeah, the earning system in this game is awesome. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Hitting them with Ezreal right now just creates a mystic shot that I wouldn't use and it would just be fleeting. I can play Peddler and then I can play another Peddler and Mystic Shot. But I have I have the Mystic Shot protection. Have a mushroom. Have three. Oh, that is true. We were, yeah, we were uh, just listening to Alice in Chains' rooster, and our opponent is my rooster. See, his chump bump's better than a static shock would be. You know, like, static shock wouldn't help you will be scoured from this too line. much. Excuse you! <laughs> 
Still, it's just a bunch of big creatures. Oh, it's mushrooms. My nightmare. Ugh, burst speed. All right, so cast that first to get that out of here, because now we can play the Flash of Brilliance and get that mana back. Ooh. That's going to be useful. That'll be useful. No, you can't. You cannot double block in this. The creatures attack like in in lanes. The world's a big place. There is a stack, but only for like, uh, burst spells do not use the stack. Burst spells are like, uh. They're like split second. Like they, they just you just play them. They resolve. Uh, fast and slow spells use the stack. Creatures don't use the stack either. Well, that's not good. If I do this right now, if I turn like this thing into one of these, will it just be an O3? I could like turn their thing into an O3 or turn mine into a 5-7, I think. Does that sound right? I'll give it a try. Let's see what happens. No, it's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Probably should have turned mine into a 5-7 then. Just one puff cap? Draw more puff caps. Come on. Well... At least I'm glad we don't have Static Shock. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Wish I could cast this flash of brilliance. My pretty. <laughs> All right, got him four. Finally, to start drawing those. All right, we need to hit a lot of spells. Four spells, that's pretty good. Could have been worse. It's not bragging if you could back it up.
So I have three damage in hand, so they have to draw they have to draw one of these with five. Or I draw another damage spell. Come on. Five. Uh three. Three is just not quite enough. We have some chances though. Flash of brilliance. Okay. We'll rummage away these things. That'll do. Be gone. No sweat. Five damage. Hey, Krav. Give that thing plus three, plus zero, and a barrier. That doesn't matter. I got five damage going upstairs. We did it! Burn him down. That game did not look good for us for a while. But that that nine mana epic was pretty good. Get you know, dealing four damage to all their stuff, you know, including them. Well, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. I mean it's just this this bottom one. Jury rig's not that good. Thermogenic beam's a great removal spell. That's just that's just really easy. We don't need to take too much time looking at votes for that. That's an easy one. That was that yeah, that was the comeback right there. <laughs> Legends of Retair is a Timmy's dream. What if all creatures had vigilance, haste, and cannot be countered? Oh right. Nobody likes their creatures getting countered. Corinna Virus. Great card. All right, so we'll keep Double Peddler. Ooh, Teemo. This game is free, yep. Yep, it's free to play. It has a very generous reward system to earn, earn the cards also. It's a good, it's, it's good. I recommend checking it out. Armed and ready. You're welcome, Krav. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. It's dangerous out there. Oh no, Battlesmith. That could be some <clears throat> some big creatures. Thanks, Evan. Hi, Vaughn. Thank you. Thanks for coming over to Twitch and giving the the positive message. I appreciate that. It is past turn. A mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. <clears throat> All right. So plan. We got four mana. We play another peddler. Now the mushroom cloud gives them 11 mushrooms. And we need 10 more to transform Teemo. So 11 more will transform Teemo, hit him with Teemo. And... Hmm. Right, I guess I do one damage to this thing. And get my Teemo back, but then we don't we don't get to transform Teemo. They're giving me like the the GG thing. Winter take you. Oh. 
All right, not too big of a deal because all Teemo would have done if we would have hit them was just give them five puff caps. It's kind of the weird tension where I actually don't really want them to draw puff caps right now because each one that they draw is less that I will be doubling up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Guess let's try this. <laughs> hmm. So this is Grant an ally like permanent elusive. Happy to do whatever's needed. You can take our Teemo, but you also have to take thirty two pup caps. Bleh. Bleh. No way. Hmm. Last two turns have not gone very well for me. No Let us settle this with great Come on, so much challenger. Grant an ally tough. This is a good turn for them. Sure, boss. Maybe you need a closer look. All right, gonna try to do a lot of trading. All right, so they get Nash and I get a 3-3 flying peddler. And a Teemo. They got 37 puff caps right now. Let's double it up. Good draw. So I can just cast this right now. It's burst speed, so I I still have priority. Uh, so basically, I can cast this and give them six mushrooms, right? Because I give them three for this, um, or I just I don't think it's worth giving them just six mushrooms for that. 
I think I just hold it so like if I draw draw another unit, I can give it elusive and attack with it. So they got 78 puff caps for 21 cards, almost four puff caps for every card. So real good chance that they they draw and take lethal. Very good chance. Come on, puppy. We need your puppy puff cap luck. Get some pup caps. Four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Good job, pup, pup cap. Awesome. We get another champion now. Three wins. So just go grab Teemo number three and a Chump Lump and a Chempunk Shredder. Ezreal comes with Funsmith and Plaza Guardian, which I don't love. But then Heimerdinger comes with Thermogenic Beam, which is good, and Assembly Bot. Not too bad. What do y'all think? Do we just go Teemo number three? Keep, keep Puff capping it up. Let's see those votes. <laughs> yep, Timo. Oh yeah, there's all the, the votes for Timo. All right. Timo. There's a Teemo. One, two, three, four, five. That's what we call a curve. Fortunately, we didn't have the attack token turn one. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Timo is too important in a Puffcat deck to skimp on him. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Not a meddler. All right. That fight. I shouldn't. I just shouldn't even made that block. We have the shredder. I shouldn't even made that block. No, if I if I should no, because I can't I can't respond. Ah, that thing keeps my Teemo from hitting. Well, my plan here was just go mushroom cloud, mushroom cloud, put him up to fifteen, then hit him with Teemo, and double that. Um, the the burst because the mark of the Isles is a burst spell, so it's you can't respond to the burst spell, so it's just it just gets the plus three plus three. Oh, right. What am I thinking? No, you're right. You're right, Nenuel. Oh, man. If I would have flipped... Oh, yeah. I missed that. No, you're right. Hello, yeah, if I would have just cast the two Mushroom Clouds, then, you know, Teemo would have transformed, so would have had one power, and so that then I could have dealt one damage to them. That would have been better. Yeah, that would have been better. Come 
close enough. I don't bite. That's what I should have done last turn. Double it up, 56. No Boom, 56. All right, let's get another hit, puppy. Double it to 112. Next turn. Smooth as All right, that's the thing. I guess I... Should have mystic shot it instead of playing this. Well, I got the backup Teemo, so all good. Yeah, be thermogenic beam's a slow a slow spell, so I I didn't have a chance to respond because it's their attack, so they got to just go straight to combat. So I, I couldn't play the thermogenic beam. Um, I could have played it obviously last turn. Could have beamed Elise. Uh, I kind of forgot about the whole Elise transform thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Bertalux. But yeah, yeah, you get to move that around. With your double chin, pup. You think they have a Mystic Spear? Or a Black Spear? Mystic Shot Black Spear? I hope not. Let them get good use of Glimpse Beyond. Oh, that's cool. It, ch it changes. So their champion is now Spider Queen Elise. That's cool. <clears throat> so I could play the Thermogenic Beam right now and kill the Skitter. In the and then I get the three them, Mushrooms. Nah, they did have a Black Spear. Gross. That hurts. Basically, I decided that I thought I really wanted to save it for Hecarim, though, if they have Hecarim. Still, our mushrooms are doing their job. Chipping away that life total.
Yeah, you were right. Not a meddler. If I cast both of these spells, that will give them 56 puff caps. Not quite 3 to 1, but almost 3 to 1. But then we can also put them down to 3. Give them a barrier and life steal. Alright, so I guess they gain 2 life. I want to to save my options to have these go upstairs. What does he want from me? And that is why. Now they're down to five. They could have deny. Denies the spell that would keep them alive. Come, the journey ahead is long. I'll cast I'll cast both of them now though on, on my turn, so like they don't have the time to draw into deny. They have to just have it in, in hand. And also because, you know, we'll give them the six puff caps. And so they could get to play their creature plus play a seven mana vengeance and they still have mana for deny. Ooh, no deny. No deny, pup. We're four and one. The pup caps. Did a lot of damage. There we go. All right, here you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, I don't want to do the first trade. I've been very happy with the Eager Apprentice. It's been a good blocker early. It gets me that extra spell, man. I I've been actually really, really liking the Eager Apprentices. I'm not doing the first trade. Either of these I could see doing. Um, you know, get you know getting... Getting Mystic Shot, you don't have to discard a card like you do with Get Excited. Um, let's see what everybody else says. I the the Shredder is my only five drop, and the Shredder was good that last game. It's my only five drop. All right, looks like skip the trade. <laughs> yeah, that was a pupper. Yep. Um, puppy is a Shiba Inu. It's a type of dog. She is. Uh, and I'll see if... Then I also have Harvey. He's laying down right there. Grab the, uh, the two puppers. All right, we're going to skip the trade. Play. All right, Karina can go. We'll keep these. Heimerdinger Lux. All right, so if they're a slower deck, that could work out well for me. Because puff caps are the best against you know the longer the game goes, the better puff caps are. <laughs> I want to draw another Peddler, right? Like I want to play Peddler and then 
And then the next turn, play another Peddler and... Did that sound right? And then double Flash of Brilliance and, and just give them a ton of uh, Poison Puff Caps. We have four other Peddlers in the deck. There's five total. So four out of 29. So basically we have a 25% shot. So it's a pretty decent shot. All right, so I did not find another peddler. At least not yet. I could cast a Flash of Brilliances and see if we get the make something... Ugh, I don't want to play that card. Could play the card that's, you know, like, make gives Grant something elusive. We've drawn that one a few times. Well, that's pretty good. Gosh, I want to pass priority over to them, but I don't want to for good if they just don't play anything. Come on, play Heimerdinger. Play Heimerdinger. All right, Challenger is good enough. Three, two, one. Actually, no, it should be three, two, one. And now I can have Mystic Shot uh, finish off the 5 2. This accelerated pursuit isn't the best draw to go with my augmented experimenter. Hand's pretty awkward. But the longer the game goes, the more... The more I like my chances. I think we win the long game. We just gotta get to the long game. 
I don't know. Heimerdinger can just win long games, and so so can Lux. So actually, I don't know. Heimerdinger and Lux are good at winning long games. <laughs> yeah, the pets are real cute in here. Back to back. Yeah, as far as far as I know, you can close those tensor. For I think you can move the overlays and close them and stuff like that. I don't. I'm not sure. Somebody else that's you know using the overlays maybe can. Somebody in chat can help. I don't know, honestly. Swiftly. Yeah, the draw three is my plan. I, I wish I had one more man and I could play the peddler first. Hey, Kiki. Eleven puff caps right now. Ten mana, three six. See, I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Remember the fallen. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Virtue guides me. That's not good. Please don't have instant speed removal again. I don't like this. Yuck. All right, that instant speed removal again. Second Teemo down. 
We only got one Teemo left. I have not found the green. Yeah, I have not found the green white value town of uh, Legends of Runeterra yet. Um, Take a look at this. John. Um, four. Behold, my four spells. Three spells. Those are good cards. They're just discarded. Could mean that we mill out first. Oh no! No, it bugged. Answers. I have them. Hmm. Can I... Can I, like, close out and reopen? Or something? We experienced our first bug. That's a 4-1. Yeah, play the game on hard mode. Oh, there it goes. Cythria. Yeah, yeah. Legends of Ruterra has morph now. We're just adding morph. Don't hold back. Banish the unworthy. So I can use both of my burn spells to kill the uh, kill the Radiant Guardian. Or I can use just Mystic Shot to kill this thing. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Or once, am I right? Right on! You will be scoured from this land! I feel like they're not attacking with Heimerdinger, and I and I have the ability to play this Peddler first. Okay. Who dares approach you? I do go down to four. 
and they go up to 16. But they got 35 puff caps. There's two. And I got a lot of damage here. That's 15. It's a lethal attack. Yeah. <laughs> Green Eye Valley telling me that Deck Todd dominates Earth whenever he brings it. Yeah, I have it. I've been playing mostly just like, for the most part, I've been playing just like the, the regular, uh, you know, tier decks as I kind of get more used to it you know the game and and building the collection um i have you know i've definitely you know been brewing some and you know i've played some some brews and stuff but not nothing uh nothing special yet nothing special yet so i'm not i don't think i want to do either of these first two Corinna has been awesome. This card has just been been great for us. I'm not getting rid of that. And Progress Day is pretty good too. I don't think I want to just, you know, I have three Mystic Shot, three Progress Day. I don't think I get rid of one for a fourth Mystic Shot. I could see maybe doing that though. This trade I'm not sure about. I don't know if Shady Character is better than Used Cask Salesman. If I have a Chump Wump in play and then I play Shady Character, do I get the extra... One one like do, do you get the summon trigger? Not no, cause he, not right, cause whenever you play it, then it turns into that, right? So like I'm not gonna get no, okay. So yeah, I don't I don't really want this shady character. So I don't think I want I don't think I want any of these. the The bottom one is a maybe, I suppose, but I've been liking the progress days. I'm gonna skip it. Progress days are, are our top end. Let's see. Fiora Shen Trindamir. This is going to be rough. Peddler. Just the card I wanted to see. All right, well, right now, a Mystic Shot would be better than one of those Progress Days. Sorry about that. Car drove by. I see. A car that the dogs didn't like. Puppy, stop. I got ways to find in mushrooms. Yeah, so for the expeditions, um, Catastrophe. Sorry for the expeditions. You you if you get a level ten vault each week, you get a free you get a token for a free expedition. Um, So 
So you want to get there. And then besides that, you can use shards. Uh, you earn shards in different um, in different like chests and stuff like that. And if you earn um, and and if you get a seven win vault like we did here, it costs three thousand shards. If you get a seven wins in the expedition, sorry, seven wins in the expedition, then you get another three thousand shards. So you get the free, so you get a, a free entry for another one. <laughs> Mushrooms are so slow, though. They're so slow. Hey, McNow. That's a big creature. Fortunately, my hand's not good. Nothing to do here at this... This turn. How can I help? That 7-6 is kind of brutal. I feel like it's going to be easier to deal with those things at 1 and 2 toughness. So I'm playing the progress day first because it is a burst spell. And you know, playing these things means the peddlers get more puff caps over here so we can you know double up more. Yeah, I, I like Legends of Runeterra more than Magic, honestly. Legends of Runeterra is, is awesome. I wrote, uh, it's about 10 days ago or so now, I wrote a Google Doc why I recommend people uh, give Legends of Runeterra a try and, and play this game. Okay. We got that plus three, plus zero barrier out of their hand. That's good to get that out of their hand. Sixty puff caps, come on, puff caps. Ooh, got a five spot. Problem is, is we're dead. But we got a five spot, that was cool. But I'm dead. <clears throat> I need one more mana. I guess maybe I'm not dead. They only have 10 trample if I block with everything. There's no good block I can make. Doesn't really matter what blocks what. So taking seven, going down to five. No, life steal.
All right, so they, these things are all at four toughness. So, come on, Karina. We gotta do four damage. We gotta do four damage here. So that means we need we need. So whenever we play it, the top five cards of the deck, we just get rid of them, and for each spell, not creature, do one damage. So we need four spells. Come on, four spells. Let's go four spells. Spells, spell, 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 spell. One, two, three. Oh, no. So close. So close. Oh, come on. Eat that thing now. Yeah, this is this nine mana epic, Corina Veraza. Man, so close. We just need one more spell, Hardy. Ah, uh, the last two. Okay. Static shock. We can do that extra a little bit. Forget you, Trinomir. Wait, this thing has elusive? You will be scoured from this land. I guess just in case they have a pump, I should block here, here, here. That's me taking six. I guess I meant here, here, here. No, because if they have a protection, they just use it there, and I take lethal. Get out of here. So if they, have, if they have protection, I'm dead. I don't think the deck tracker is working because we're playing a draft. Yeah, they did have another protection spell. Darn, so close. We were about to play Catastrophe, which was going to be a 30-30 Trampler. We were about to, this the next turn. We we had it unlocked. We were going to play a 30-30 Trampler and kill them. Had too many of those barriers. And too big of creatures. That's that's the downfall of our deck are big creatures. And they had too many big creatures and too many ways to protect them. Alright, well I don't like any of these trades. The only trade I could see I'm not getting rid of the benefactor. Uh, I don't know. It is a chump lump. Chump lumps are pretty good. Alright, maybe we get rid of Benefactor. But last breath create a random epic in hand. That's pretty good. Get a random epic card. Nah, we have four chump lumps already. We'll just keep that. The one I could maybe see doing is the middle one. Static shock for assembly bot. Assembly bot seems really, really slow. Yeah, it has to be in play, and then once it's in play, whenever you cast spells, get a plus one, plus one. The thing, though, is we do get, because of all the chump lumps, uh, you know, we can get a bunch of mushroom clouds, and, you know, we have, like, the flash of brilliances. So we could have, like, a bunch of, bunch of mushroom clouds, flash of brilliances, play this thing, and then start playing a bunch of stuff and just really pump it up. So, yeah, uh, no reason to do the second trial as far as rewards, no, but... The the reasons to do the second trial, like why we're why 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 we're doing it is because of like the good practice and everything, and because you know like you you know like you paid for the other ones, so you get the good practice with it. The real reason is because the XP these things give a lot of XP. If you get seven wins, you get seven uh, you get fifteen hundred XP, which is which is a lot of XP. You know, on top of like the regular XP you get for you know each win, like during while you're playing. I'm gonna try this assembly bot. Yeah, then you you can do the the free ones to get the XP. So it if you 
if you know you're going to be doing the three a week and then you and then start doing the free ones, then then I guess you don't really need to. Uh, gone, gone. Gosh, Thresh, Trindamir, Callista, Thresh and Trindamir. Uh, Thresh and Trindamir is so difficult to deal with. I want peddlers and Teemos in my opener. Timo. Nothing like the great outdoors. How can I help? The worst card for me to play this is if they have the Ice Veil Archer to give this. Yeah, it's like that was like a fast spell, so they were they would have been able to do that anyway. Um, even if I didn't play this pre-combat. The worst spell would have been Ice Veil Archer. The best spell would have been if they if they were planning on uh, Cursed Keeper and just playing an unblock a uh, creature they can't block. Poor Teemo. So we'll just kill that thing turn five with our Shredder. So this would have been a Static Shock otherwise. All right, well, I guess Static Shock would have been better. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Patience. Look out! <clears throat> they've had a good... They've had good answers to my threat so far. All right, Shredder's a 5-2, can trade with the 5-5. Five five. You haven't done Expedition yet because it constructed so fun? Nice. The Expedition's a whole lot of fun also. Um, and you do get a free Expedition token whenever you start with your account as well, as far as I know. Ooh, Karina Veraza costing eight. That's nice. That's nice. What we catch? This is a little bit of a problem.
Yeah, you also get an expedition token from hit getting level 10 on the vault. I'm hoping Karina Veraza hits three things. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. We'll get three things. Three spells. Which we did do. We have drawn a bunch of creatures. So come on. Three spells? I'll take five. We need to get at least three. Have so much card advantage. Wow, just whiffed. Five creatures, including our Ezreal's gone, a Teemo's gone. Yuck. That could have gone better. That could have gone better. At least they sacrificed those two creatures. So at least that happened. So many cards. I don't know if this block is worth it or if I should just be taking three. I'm, of course, worried about Trindamir. That block's probably not worth it. So I, I didn't even need to play that jury rig then. Nineteen puff caps. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. So yeah, I, I didn't need to play that <laughs> thing right there. Gosh, all the glimpse beyonds. Gonna draw into Trindamir. Of course, the less cards, the more puff caps on each card. I 
can't imagine. Like, they just passed priority. Maybe I shouldn't even play the Chump Womp and just passed back. Like, that's a lot of mana that they're just wasting with all those cards. Like, what do they got going on over there? This is a close game. This is one that I don't think we're really winning, but like it looks like like we're definitely winning in, on board, but I just feel like they're going to drop, you know, like these things and just kill me really fat. Uh, real soon. Okay, or they just have ruination. So, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, ruination kills me. Why does that have to be a 12 12? Why'd I have to play that jump bump last turn? Why couldn't I just pass? Had a little bit extra mana. I mean, if it's just 11 11, you know, I could do have one mana deal two, and then I have nine mana left and I deal nine, but I can do 11 damage. Well, we got to five wins. Our deck was pretty good. But a couple, you know, big Trindamir decks just went a, went a little bit over the top of us. There for our two losses in a row. All right, we get a a champion capsule and 3,000 shards. Best you can do. 3,000 shards is how much it costs to enter. So we got our entry fee back. And champion capsule. Better than just a, champ, a random champion. What do we get for the champion capsule? All right, so you, so you get three rares, one epic, one champion. Okay, I had that right. One of the rares upgraded to a wild card. Two of them were extra copies. We got another reckoning, which is awesome because, I, like I was saying, I was about to have to use epic wild cards on reckonings for our assessor control. So that's amazing. And then a Thresh, a card that I think is really good and one of the most underrated in the game right now so good champion capsule all right great great champion capsule great expedition there had a lot of fun we got to make an all noxus deck to start with and the noxus deck um was real aggressive very strong 7-1 and then an all pnz deck with so many puff caps um and that was that was one of the best teemo decks we've gotten we still have not uh, gotten a um, a seven win Teemo deck in Expedition. I thought that one could have been it. We were close. Uh, yeah, we were close. That that Karina, you know, just completely whiffed, and then I overextended into a Ruination. You know, Ruination is is an epic. It's not like that. That's not a card that many people have. But Ruination, and then the Wanderers card. Ouch. So that was 7,600 shards worth of Expedition. Nice. That's a good profit. Yeah, 3,000 to enter, get 7,600 back. And got to play a lot of, you know, a lot of Rune Terra, a lot of Draft and everything. Good day today with that. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this Teemo deck. If you've, got, if you've done the 7-win Teemo deck... You know, let me know about it. Let me know like what what else you had that, that really helped you get there. Um, I haven't done the seven win Teemo draft deck yet. And I've tried. We've probably done. I've tried. I've probably drafted Teemo like five times now. And like that's my third time getting five wins. I don't think I've gotten six even. I think five's the most I've gotten. I think I've gotten five three times. All right, uh, that's it here for um, our. Expedition. Let's see. I was gonna call this deck. I had it written down. Uh, P and Z puff caps. That's that's what it was. P and Z puff caps. So thanks so much for watching it, and I'll see you for the next video.